Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So last time we started the new series as Beast Slayers, the first uh, contract. Uh, so far everything is going quite well. Today we're gonna do another contract, this time uh, we won't have to find, we just need to find the derelict crypt. Where is it? North, west? Uh... Not far, so we sh shouldn't take that long. Get a little bit of extra gold. Once we are done with that, we have um, one recruit here that um, looks very promising. I was thinking about taking him right away to like make sure he doesn't disappear. But hopefully, uh, he'll still be there in like a day, day and a half when we return back. And um, uh, I just don't want to pay... Uh, the daily wage when uh, we won't be fighting. So I'll just uh, actually first let's check what do we have here. Uh, not much, and there is probably no reason to sell anything. The prices are horrible. We would get like thirty gold if we sold everything. Yeah, we may as well keep it in the inventory. Also, how much room do we have in the inventory? Ninety-two. That's not bad for only four people. Okay, I like that. Except northwest, right? Northwest. Let's go northwest. Region of Snarehold. We could climb the mountain here. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Well, that was super easy. Very easy money. Uh, was that enough experience to maybe get a level up for someone? No. Okay, fingers crossed. It's a brawler, so the starting stats won't be like crazy high. We just need to get lucky not to get the low rolls. The stars are where they're supposed to be. 57 starting melee skill for a brawler, I think that's fine. 75 starting hit points, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, resolve we can fix, stamina wise, that's a little low, but... You'll be using light armor. Please tell me that we have nimble. Yeah, we do have nimble. What the hell is this? Uh, these are the new icons that I will have to get used to. 108 initiative. That's okay as well. For now, I wouldn't mind a shield. We could grab a staff. Anything else? Sure, why not? Let's use that. Actually, this is what well, this is a third actually contract that we've done for this village. What about the prices? We don't need that. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell all of this. I definitely won't be using the elixir, so I might as well get rid of it. This is too much money to carry around for I don't know how long, so let's sell that as well. And I don't think I'll be crafting anything out of those uh, wolf pelts either, so let's just get, get our money. Maybe more food. Get something cheap. This will be, what, two, three days? Yeah, that's enough to get to another city. Is there anything else that we may be interested in? Some upgrades perhaps? 67 gold for what? 30 armor? Uh, helmet? Probably should have something for the for the brawler. 
Okay, I'll take it. How are we doing? Like hit points wise. Gear is fine. Yeah, everyone is actually ready to fight. Nice. Go. I probably should go slower. At least the first few days, I really don't want to f uh, run into something nasty. Um, yeah, we are pretty close to the tundra, so I don't think we want to go north here. And I apologize if there is some noise in the background, but I have to record during the day. Uh, so unfortunately, there might be some noises in the background that I can't do anything about. But hopefully the mic is not picking it up. Okay, another large city, but uh, it's still not like large enough so that um, well, they would have a, would have quests that uh, we can't do yet. Where do we start this marketplace? Maybe check the food. It's expensive as hell. Everything is expensive. Checking if there's maybe something that we could buy that it's like heavily damaged. No. Even the items that are damaged are, are ridiculously expensive. How much food do we need for the day? 21. So we will have only food for one day. Okay, give me something interesting. Secure cover. I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight undead yet. Uh, maybe. Halvigborg. Two days northeast. Where is Halvigborg? It's gonna be up here somewhere and it will probably take us quite far and the since that would take us to the tundra we'd most likely get ambushed by like barbarians yeah i think i'll pass this is risky <clears throat> what about like one new recruit or maybe it's just one throwaway just some cannon fodder that's a little too expensive Probably should just look at the recruitment costs rather than what backgrounds they are. You might be useful. I should probably check monks, just in case we run into a run uh, into a monk with um, like two plus star resolve. This one is almost there. But for the monk, the only stat that really matters is, is Resolve. Would be nice to get like Resolve and maybe hit points, but the Resolve has to be at least two stars, so this is not good enough. What about you? Uh, yeah, you are coming with me. You will get sacrificed for the, great, the greater good. What are you? Aggressive and Iron Jaw. Where are we supposed to go? This is where we're supposed to go. I'm quite curious. Oh, great. Some of them just left. Usually I don't like to see that, but this early... Some thugs. Some thugs sounds bad. I hope it's just four. One 
poacher and two or three. Oh, there's brigand poachers and the uh, rebel poacher. Hmm. This is significantly more difficult than the than the previous fight. Okay, let's. Oh, it's only seven of them, so that's not too bad. But these two, especially these two, are a problem. This one with the short bow also not great. Um. If I move two tiles, that's not enough. I have to move four. Don't hit, don't, don't, good. Okay, that's dangerous. But let's see what they're gonna do. Are they all gonna move forward? If they split up, at least like partially, that would be great. But I have a feeling they'll just stop here. Or maybe not. Okay, interesting. Wait. Give me a better target somewhere. Thirty-five, forty-five. Nice. Oh, please give me one more hit. Excellent. So that was good. If you move forward, you won't be able to attack. Let's go down. Maybe here, actually. You will unfortunately have to move forward and die for the team, I have a feeling. Uh, unless we succeed with the 33% stun or daze, that's not a big surprise. Wait, and I want you here because you have by far the best armor. Ow. Please don't hit with that. Good. Wait. 52. Well, now we are getting somewhere. You can move forward. And now this guy. Well, we hit the two previous attacks, so I'm not surprised that we didn't hit these two. Uh, you can do what? Probably just stay here. Oh, unfortunate. Die. Good. Come on. Nope. <coughs> well, that sucks. Come on, we need this one to panic. Excellent. And I think it's time for the dog. Ah! 
Oh, nice. You just hit the head. This is making me a little nervous. I would love to catch this guy, but I don't think that's happening. I don't think we are hitting anything with the bow, but it's still worth a try. And now he's running away. But I think I still want to try. Because this guy has the most interesting gear. Yeah, the dog will be able to catch him. We are probably done. There we go. Now we just need to catch up before he kills the dog. It only has a knife, so the dog should be able to survive a hit or two. Oh, really? Just bit his head off. That went surprisingly well. We even have a better stuff now. Useful sword, the dagger, shield, better armor, some food, all the good stuff. I'm even thinking about just following the tracks. That's probably a little too greedy. We could use a break, heal up a little bit. Uh, how long is this gonna take to recover? Three to five days. Oh, this is a throwaway. Actually, I don't really mind that much. Who gets what? Uh, this is what, 30 point base? This is 65, yeah, that's an upgrade for sure. Then... I want you to survive. Do we get the sword to someone? What's the damage of the short sword? 30 to 40. This is 30 to 35. I think we are selling the dagger. And you will get the shield and the club for some more crowd control. You two can probably switch. Damn, I'm so tempted to go after the other group. Okay, what else is here that we might potentially want to use? The sword. Since we don't have... Um, 
Uh, nets. May as well use a shield with uh, those throwing weapons. And level ups. Do we go for the net repair as the second perk? It feels a little too greedy. What else do we have? I don't think this is a build. This is gonna be like the glass cannon pole arm. I don't think this is a build that really needs a recover. I could pick up alert even if we are not stacking initiative. What else do we have? Backstabber, maybe? way too early for things like balance and we don't really have much at this point I guess it's gonna be backstabber to increase the chance to hit as much as possible it won't be much at this point but every little bit could make a difference and I really don't see anything else that would help us that much at this point there is pathfinder alert recover uh, recover probably not these two or backstabber I think it's gonna be backstabber. Molly skill always. Hit points. I guess I will take initiative. So I'm not sure how high we want to go with the uh, with stamina. So I'll be using like medium armor. So that's let's say minus minus thirty ish. Now we do need uh, extra stamina. Okay, fine. We could use recover here though. One, two. Three, even though we got the max roll on hit points. I don't think I will go higher than what we currently have. And this is, yeah, this is the throwaway. Learning the plants of uh, the healing tree allows you to fashion crude healing supplies from common ingredients. Among crafting bandages and medicine, also increases maximum medicine storage. I don't think this will really give us anything before. This guy dies. Let's just go for recover. Nice. Some more defense. Probably more hit points. And I, I will do it. I want to see. There they are. It didn't take long. That's just rebel. It's nine of them, but it's just rebel. Oh wait, there are two groups. Rebel, rebel poacher. Oh, do we attack both of them? 
If we fight in the forest, that's actually an advantage for us. That's a dead dog. Okay, those two hammers are dangerous. If I activate spear wall here, they will just go around, so pass. We're gonna need help on this side, that's for sure. Can you reach with 54% attack? I'll take that. Yeah, I'm sure. Not the target that I was aiming at, but I'm not complaining. I have no idea where this guy came from. Oh, it's probably turn two. It was the first move of the second turn, I think. Because there is no way he got this close for turn one. Nice. Really want you dead. Wait. Okay, that's not bad. I think I'll just go for the damage. Ah, close. You still have a chance to finish him out though. Nope. Uh, so it seems that this side is doing better now. Okay, speed wall. can still switch, right? No, actually, we have the shield. Oh, we can switch. I have 73% miss, that hurts. Come on, come on, good. Finally, someone managed to hit and get a kill. Two more to go. Okay, you are not going anywhere. Please don't hit me. And this guy... I guess I... Do I want to be greedy? I mean, it's more experience. If I send the dog, three, four, uh, oh, yeah, fighting in the forest. One step closer, two steps closer, send the dog. Finish this. Come on, buy this head off again. Excellent. Three more level ups. What did we get? 60 gold. I'll take that. Some more tools and supplies. A little bit more food. Uh, this is an upgrade for someone. How do we have 124 slots in the inventory? 
did they increase the starting size of the inventory? Because I remember the previous run we started with like 40 or something. It was it felt very like really low. Okay, who gets what? We get that. I should probably give this thing to someone. How are our weapons doing? The last thing that we need is to break them. For some reason the durability of the wooden spear is not going down at all. Okay, this is going to be that weird build, like throwing weapons, uh, nets, with offhand bow, I think. That has to be gifted. Well, this is an interesting question. I still think I want to get at least some initiative into this build. But we will be using medium or maybe even heavy armor here. Which means we're gonna need more than 90 stamina. Yeah, I think I will have to go for a stamina here. 70 hit points probably enough. Okay, you are throw away as well, but if we can survive a fight or two, uh, I think think I wouldn't mind, so let's get some extra hit points. One, two, oh, whoa, wait, 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 I just noticed, this is bad. Why is your resolve so ridiculously low? And this is this is the brawler, okay, so we have to think about oh that's definitely a Colossus because the um the unarmed damage scales from what hit points hit points and initiative, right? What is this? Leap high and far, covering two tiles distance but uh, a great fatigue cost. That sounds kinda useless. Because of that great fatigue cost. Years of practice throwing things at uh, apples above heads have granted magnetic attraction to the cranium. Grants 30% chance to hit the head. That sounds good. That should be... Uh, practice in physical movement with the partner has given the ability to take the lead and move someone's body in a twirling movement. If you have taken the rotation perk, can now target enemies. Oh, that's new. Let's sprint. Debilitate. Eh, not sure. But where are all of my unarmed perks? Backflip, extensive training in circus maneuvers allows you to move out of harm's way with astonishing speed. If you have taken footwork, gain... Oh, footwork gains plus one range. What? No, 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 the backflip gains plus one. So this is like a disengage ability. That's weird. 
Where are all of the perks that scale the damage of uh, punches? Freedom of movement, tumble, make use of acrobatic skill to improve your movements. How's the fatigue cost of lunge, unarmed lunge, footwork, leap, tumble? The action point cost of all these skills is reduced by one. Yeah, that's nice, but <laughs> where do I get them? Well, then... Is this a brawler that has no brawling abilities? Vengeance, a shared conquest. Makes my did they remove an arm mastery? What the hell? Because if brawlers don't have an unarmed mastery, who else would have it? Don't care about any of this. What the heck? We are still taking Colossus no matter what, but this is not the build that I wanted. There are like no perks that I need. Uh, I'm, uh, if it's somewhere in the patch notes that they removed all of the unarmed stuff, I just didn't notice. But this is bad. I don't know what else would I do here. If it's, let's see, if it's melee skill, hit points, and initiative. We have nimble, we have freedom of movement. So, that's a decent damage reduction. Do we have dagger mastery? We could go with a dagger maybe, like a weird assassin build. Some of these abilities to like disengage, jump around. We have access to recover. Rotation with enemies. That sounds interesting. To drag someone to the middle of your people. But at the same time, most of the time, this is something that you want to prevent, actually. So maybe get behind someone and then move him away from your people. But when you are already behind someone, may as well stab him. This is weird. Okay, uh, let's just... Wait, uh, how much resolve do we get? Plus three. And we don't have access to like fortified mind, we don't have gifted. This is bad. I'm so disappointed. Where are my martial artists that are like destroying everything? What if I remove the stuff? Yeah, there's no damage and there won't be any damage without the perks. If I remove the stuff, would it give me access to more perks? No. Okay guys, if you know what happened to Unarmed, please let me know, or if I just got the only only brawler in the world that, that doesn't know how to brawl. Oh, come on, stop running, stop running, you know that I'm gonna catch you. Are you going after the... no, we are not going after the caravan. Oh, we have reinforcements. Okay, well, oh, that's a lot of people. And look at them. <laughs> wow. So here we just need to try and get as many as many last hits as possible that we get some loot out of this. Or maybe we could try to let some of them die, like this guy, but I don't think that the rebel has enough damage. Yeah, this guy is not dying. Uh, 
Is this a bad idea? Ah. Okay, wait. Okay, show me what you can do. Not much. Come on, don't kill him. Like, oh, I, never mind. I wouldn't be able to get to him anyway. Ow. Ow. this kill Don't... okay, good. That is my kill. I might be a little bit greedy here, trying to get this kill as well. And I'll kill this one with the staff, so that's two more. I think we got like six kills out of this, that's not too bad. Let's see the loot. 63 gold. Food. Okay, I guess that's fine. We didn't take any damage or actually no, we did get hit twice, but let's say we took barely any damage. And that was like not even a whole day to kill 9, 18, I think that's like 27. 27 um, brigands on day four i would call that a success 400 gold ambush trade routes gone let's see are the prices better now uh 73 food 1400 gold i like that how are we doing uh ammo is fine for now i think tools and supplies as well I think all of this is just garbage that we can sell. What about the sword? Seventy-three. You know what? Let's get nine gold. That food would spoil anyway. We have enough for four days still. Who needs an upgrade here? 
We could use uh, some more throwing weapons. Do we have room for more throwing weapons? Yes. But if I do that, then I won't be able to switch to the bow. Three hundred six. Yeah, I'm not spending three hundred and sixty on on javelins. And I also don't see anything else that would be like interesting enough. Four fifth. That's even worse. Hills to the southwest. Good to know. But those are mountains. I probably don't want to waste time trying to find a brigand camp somewhere in the mountains. It could be pretty far away. Uh, where is the road? I guess this is the road. It's always difficult to spot. Oh, there is no road? Where are we on the map? If we zoom out... There should be some villages and cities in this direction, right? Unfortunately, there really are no roads here. They will be going south. We would have to go back and follow this road. And I th think that's a bit of a waste of time. This road goes to the uh, hunter's cabin. Well, in that case, maybe we could try to find that brigand camp. Just follow the edge of the mountains. Yeah, this is where we're going to climb. Have a look around. No roads, no nothing. Come on, I need to find a village or something. Because right now we just need to do as many contracts as possible. There is something. What is this? As the snow and stiff winds beat down upon your face, it seems almost miraculous that there is someone on the mountain waving you down. But uh, there he is, a bearded fellow with two sleds in hand. He yells out if you are interested in a race. First one to split them two rocks shaped like <coughs> cocks is the winner. Um, you ask what is it? Uh, what it is that's on the line. When he looks at you like a dog spoken to in the wrong language, you ask what you are betting he loves. Ain't no bad, just a matter of fun. Fair enough? I don't think so. This sounds like a horrible idea. I guess if we succeed, it's just gonna be like a morale boost. If we don't succeed, this sounds like, like broken legs, at least. So we're gonna pass. Yeah, we are not getting any contracts here. Uh, what about some recruits? 1400 gold still. Uh, the company is full, but worst case scenario, we can kick someone if there was like a really good recruit here. Especially, I'm looking especially for monks at this point. They are cheap and they might be um, useful even for late game as sergeants. So. Uh, nothing this time. What else? Recruits. I don't think we are buying dogs. Let's see the prices. Oh, what are you? 
Minus two fatigue, 31 armor, increased result by 4%. It's not that great. Anything else interesting? Anything shiny? Just because I'm curious. Prices are not that bad. 252, 360. We could buy one of these. Five, oh, that's too much. 360 for this one. Or do we just buy some more, more of these? But these are quite easy to get. The bases, the 65 point bases. Probably should be looking at the damaged items. Uh, food wise, let's buy some more ground grains. They don't have anything here. Are we done or what else do we need? Barber patrolling training. Well, I think we are done with this episode. We've done more than enough. Uh, next time we once again have a road to, to follow. So that's where we are heading. Uh, how much? No, that's not what I want here. Next roster size increase is at 250 renown. And we are at... We are at 213. We are actually pretty close. So that's probably our next goal, get to 250, that's like two contracts, and start looking for more people. 1300, well, it's still gonna be just the most basic backgrounds, but the more people, the more options in every fight. Okay, so we are done with this episode, I hope that you liked it, I hope that you're gonna join me next time again, and until then, have a good time, bye bye.